camp. Thank you for watching. He's got some colorful paint splattered shirt. Wow. That's something. Um, we better check with the be. Weather don't look so good. Hey, yo, you groovy dudes and your slap heavy hippie. This is the hippie. And I'm here to give you the weather. Well, here we go. That don't look so good. Looks like it's gonna get wet today. A little uh, drippy, as they say. I would bring an umbrella. If you're going out on the river, you better stay, uh, bring a top or something. I'm gonna go hang out with my cousin Chewy today. Nobody liked Chewy. He was the black fly in the family. <laughs> He's a black fly in the family. <laughs> All right. I'm taking off. We're going to go uh, over Guido the Mosquito's house today. Toodaloo. Thank you, Hippie, for that wonderful weather report. We'll have to stay uh, dry today. We'll see what happens. We're gonna head into town, pick up a breakfast somewhere. So let's go. back from breakfast we stopped in at uh, Coos Canyon Rock and Gift and Chad Waning was there and he had a bunch of he's a gem miner and uh, he had a bunch of crystals and gems let's take a look we're at Rosie's uh, Rock and Gift Shop Coos Canyon and he happened to be here and he's got a lot of gemstones he's gotten from Maine here and we're looking at them and they're fantastic what is this I'm looking at here? That is a uh, rubellite crystal, actually watermelon with a blue and thicker like core. Wow. The top broke off, but I have both pieces. Okay. Um, this is a uh, cassiterite crystal, fully terminated with a clear white um, appetite crystal in there. Wow. Fully terminated. Very heavy if you want to feel that. That's... Oh, yeah. Wow. This is a uh, nice termina uh, tourmaline. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at the color of that. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty nice crystal. Wow. Where was that, uh, that table? Yeah, that, that there. Yeah. Is a really nice Let me one. get that one in the light. Yeah, yeah that is heavy. Yeah, Look isn't at it? that. It's like four times. Wow. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got those up. There's some other appetites for you. that, too. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. And then just some that one's just so nice. Points. Look at it in the light. Those are nice display cases too. Show them off. Yeah. Love that. 
that's why I got those. You can hold it and I don't have to worry about you dropping it. Yeah. Not you necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> this is some lipidolite. Wow. In quartz with tourmaline. It's tourmaline. Yeah. This is like an edge of a pocket zone. Yeah. Actually, it was a field trip. So. Oh, nice. And then just some nice quartz. Wow, look at that. Yeah, very unique. Mm. But yeah, that. that and these all come from Maine, huh? Yep. Mostly Oxford, some uh, Androscoggin County. So, not oh, too bad. Very nice. Oh, well, it's nice meeting you here. Yeah, no, definitely nice meeting you guys. And he gave us this. Let me get, give you a better look. Look at that. He gave us this great quartz crystal. That's awesome. Look at it. What a specimen. It terminates right there. That's fantastic. Thank you, Chad. Well, we decided what we're going to do today. We're not going to head out onto the river because the weather is unsettled. And besides that, we need a reprieve from the bugs. They're pretty bad, and he's bitten up. They love him, Chewy and his friends. Um, so we have some pay dirt from Vendetta Prospecting that we're going to do, and I'm going to test the dream map. Um, and let me show you what we got going on here. Okay, we have my uh, sluice box that I've been using in the river. It has a dream mat in it. Uh, I'm going to change out this header box with this one. This one just swaps out. And then I'm going to make it into a recirculating sluice. And we're going to run that pay dirt through, through there one time. Then we're going to run the tailings again and see how much it missed on the first run. Um, I c can convert this sluice back into a regular standard ripples carpet miners moss thing. Because um, that's what I'm... But I tried this out. It seems to work pretty good. But I'm going to give it a little test today and see how much it misses on the first run. Because I know how my other one does. I've been using that one for a long time. And then I can have a comparison and see. So let me change this header box out and we'll get to it. Here we are. We brought everything in. We're gonna set up the recirculating sluice inside because it's raining out. We have a top set up outside, but we want to get a little reprieve from the flies and the bugs. Um, <clears throat> they love him, Chewy and his friends. But also, we have this. I'm sure you've been looking at this thing glowing here. This is, uh, I'll give you a close-up view of it I, I hit on the screen here. Um, we got this over at uh, Coos Canyon Rock and Gift. We were over there, and uh, we saw this. We bought one the other day, because I, and, but there's, there's so many of them in there, and they're all beautiful. They're just a fantastically colorful, and it's just a geode that they cut into a thin slab and the light shines through it so when you put it in the window it's really colorful and you can see all the crystals in it and everything they're really nice and we're going to give one of them away that one that one right there we're going to give uh to a lucky viewer you can do finger puppets on that yeah. <laughs> Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to be setting up inside here today. Uh, at this point, we hope the sun don't come out because it'll get hot in here, but it's not right now. So I got to make a trip down to the water, grab some buckets and set up. And uh, we'll tell you how you can win this uh, 
cool looking geode slice. Don't go away. Okay, here we are, we're all set up. We just gotta go down to the river and get some water. I'll give it, that's where this came from. So let's get some water. Here we go, we're gonna go get some water to run the recirculating sluice. It's looked a little slick after it's been raining here, but. Water's run over this bedrock pretty good, huh? It's all smooth. I don't think passing up there is an option. I don't know. I think it's easy just to walk it back that way. Maybe. He's gone up to get that, and I'll fill up another. It's a lot easier than walking all the way around on the slippery rocks with a full bucket. Right through here. Okay? Yeah. Whew. Rough, it almost went over the cliff. Just, if you want, just move it where it's flat if you can. I'll fill up another. We got the first trip of water in. Looks like we need one more bucket, so we gotta go down one more time. Treacherous. Tom almost broke his crown. Went right over the edge. A little tiny tree stopped him. <laughs> we gotta go one more time though, so no laughing. got the water we managed to get enough water in the recirculating sluice and we didn't kill ourselves close close okay we have some pay dirt here oh it's a big bag there that's a big bag of pay dirt what, you want to show them who that is there oh yeah do we have that on the cooler right no i'm gonna stick it huh. i didn't even realize that was in there vendetta prospecting pay dirt Vendetta. I'm going to stick that right on the cooler. There's the cooler. All the different stickers. Everybody's on there. Benzo, Ron for the Hill, 207, Nutmeg Prospect, and JP Wands and more. Hippie Explorer. Hippie Explorer. <laughs> Binger. Banshee. Mr. and Mrs. Brewer I just put on, but I'm going to have to get some adhesive for that one. I like that sticker. We're going to put this right here. There you go. There it is, Vendetta Prospecting. So, 
back to the pay dirt from uh, Vendetta Prospecting, uh, Lynx Creek, five, five plus grams. We're gonna classify it, and I may wash it with a little water too, so it doesn't muddy up the water too much. Yeah, it's a little bit dusty. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing in there but... Real dusty like it should be, though. Just a few larger things that didn't go through the classifier, so... I'm gonna wash this and wet it and drain it off outside. Then we're gonna run it through the sluice. Okay, let's get her going. You put a couple drops of that stuff in there to oh, yeah. break the water tension. Tom Miller gave us uh, on this little travel size. Uh, is that enough for that? Yep. And here we go. I see gold right after the first scoop. See it? Oh yeah, it's a nice gold already right there. <laughs> that first teaspoon. There's five grams in here, so we'll really get a good test and see how this dream mat's working. Let's take a look at it. it. Looks like it's working well. There's things jumping around in there. This right here, what I noticed about the dream mat is it'll catch stones like this, about that size, in that little pocket. I don't think that's good or bad or whatever, but everything's jumping around the way it should. Well, let's keep on going. Looks good. Works like a dream. Look at the gold after the first few scoops. Take a look. Oh yeah, look at all that. And it's a nice size gold too. We got all the dirt run through. You can see all the gold. We turned the sluice off. Look at that. Loaded. Yeah, yeah can we see any in here? Oh yeah, right there. Whole bunch. We got, oh yeah, look at that. It's loaded with gold right there. Loaded. Loaded. Wow, look at all that. See all that up there behind yeah. that? Yeah. Nice. We're gonna clean this out, put it in a bucket, and then we're gonna run it again and see what it missed the first time. 
So let's clean this up. Dump it right in that bucket. My homemade squirt bottle. That's the trick. Cleans right out nice and easy. Like a dream. <laughs> Put that back in there. about 95 percent or so with the carpet and ripples that we have on this. Now I've converted it to the dream mat which was given to me by Rum to the Hills Mining and Carl Miller bent this plate for me and I put that right in there. Okay it's all run and let's take a look. And see what we can see. I mean, I see a piece up here, right up in there, but so far, the dream mat looks like it's done a very good job. And we're going to pan it out and take oh, a yeah. look. One small piece over in there. Right up in here. Yeah, I got it. Oh, there's one there too. Yeah. There's also one up in that corner. Yeah. What you got there? Nothing. <laughs> it looks like something to me. It's an apple danish. Wow. We uh, cleaned up the recirculating sluice. And we have the two buckets. And so far, the dream mat looked like it did really well. But we won't know until we pan it out to see uh, what it missed on that first run. So after our danish, we're going to do that. Hello! We'd like to interrupt this program. We have a couple giveaways. The first one is going to be from last week's video. We're giving away that slice of geode. And uh, it was from the comments. The secret word was rooster. Let's go pick a winner. All right, here we are on the YouTube comment picker. I'm going to put last week's url in there like that we're going to check filtered duplicate users one entry per person and the secret word was rooster like that oh now the math question that's a tough one it always stumps me right there 107 unique comments here we go good luck everyone Deja do. May the rooster crow, but the hen delivers the goods. Congratulations. Congratulations, Deja do. I think I said that right. Um, you have 30 days to claim your prize. Uh, let us know. Send me an email to westperon at AOL.com and we'll get that right out to you. Now, the next giveaway is a giveaway we had for a beautiful sluice box donated by Chuck Elder. Carl Miller made it. Chuck Elder uh, customized it, put the mats in it, and we thank you very much. Uh, uh, this, in order to enter this one, you had to go over to the hitbee.com and enter there. Um, and we're going to show you the names. It's a beautiful sluice box. We're going to show you the names. Uh, some people uh, entered more than once. Let's take a look. Okay, here's the list of names that we have. There were 60 uh, entries. If you see a name listed more than once, it's because they entered more than once. And you can pause this at any time and check and see if your name is. I'm going to scroll up so you can see all the names on there. And 
and you can pause that if you want to check it out. And that is 60 names. We're going to set it for 45 seconds. We're going to take, we're going to take the top 10. Top 10 are going to make it into the finals. So this is just going to be a preliminary race. We're going to shuffle all the characters up. And we're ready. We're going for the top 10 finishes. We'll make it into the next round. Let me get this on the super screen here. There we go. There we go. And... Come on now, they're off. Here they go, who is it? Jacqueline Hammer out in front, Kyle Miller coming up close. Who's that? Dale Covey, Wayne Gelston, Kyle Miller take an early lead out in front. Here comes David Farnham on the bottom with the pink shirt and green shoes. Takes the lead, David Farnham on the bottom. Kyle Miller, David Farnham working. Here comes Dale Covey with the red shirt up top making a move. Eric Marshall in the middle trying to make a move. It's getting tight, it's getting tight. Things are tightening up. Who's it gonna be? Dale Colby, Kyle Miller, Mark Kanowski on the bottom. And who's that in the middle? Jacqueline Johnson, oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Who is it? Marjorie Noon came in first place, but we're looking for the top 10, so let's get the results. And the top 10, Marjorie Noon, Eric Marshall, Jacqueline Hammer, Jacqueline Johnson, Robert Anderson, Doug Pottle, Eric Marshall again, Ryan Hale, Dale Covey, and Ron Rogers Sr. All those uh, names are going to go into the final round. Congratulations. All right, those are the 10 finalists. The 10 finalists are going into the final round. And uh, let's go back out and see who's going to win it. All right, there are the names, the 10 finalists. And we're going to set it up here. We're going to shuffle the characters. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone. And they're off. And they're off. Doug Pottle on the bottom has a slim lead. Eric Marshall up top making a run for it. There, it's all pretty close. Robert Anderson, Dale Covey in the middle of the pack. Eric Marshall trying to make his move. Battling Doug Pottle on the bottom with the uh, red shirt and pink shoes. Eric Marshall trying to make his move. Here comes Ron Rogers on the bottom. Robert Anderson right up the middle with the blue shirt. He's making his move down the home stretch. Here comes Ryan Hale. It's going to be real close. Up top, Eric Ma Oh, it's Ryan Hale. Congratulations. Are the winner. Let's see the final results. Robert Anderson and Jacqueline Hammer come in second and third. Ryan Hale, congratulations. Congratulations, Ryan Hale. You are the winner. Um, we'll contact you and we'll get that to you uh, as soon as we can. Uh, now let's get back to the show. There we go. Let me see what we got for gold out of the first run. Okay, I'm gonna call it good there. Let's see what we got. All right, it's all done. I've got it 90% cleaned up just so we can see how the dream mat did. Now this is what it caught in the first run. Wow. Now there was supposed to be five grams of gold in there. I'm not gonna weigh it because uh, I'll do that all when I get home. Looks well, pretty good, though. I'd say it's five plus grams. Yeah, I'm going to clean that up when I get home, and uh, I'll weigh it. But here is what it missed after the first run. Right there. Well, that's virtually nothing. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, maybe ten, ten colors or so in there. 
and uh, I see six right there. If I compare it to how I know my ripples and matting work, it works at least as good, if not a little better, because uh, the mat and ripples that we've been using probably wouldn't have gotten that much out. I'd say better. I'd say that's pretty darn good. Yeah. So. So that's an I'm A gonna plus. I'm leave the dream mat in it. Now I have confidence in it because I could see for myself and compared it with something that I use with the same water speed in the same setup. And uh, I'm going to leave it in there. So there you have it. Dream mat's an A+. Plus. It's a dream. <laughs> okay, we're all cleaned up. I cleaned up the recirculating sluice box. Dumped all the water out. And uh, we got to run into town, pick up a couple items. Um, and then we're going to come back and make some dinner. So don't go away. We went into town. We got some interesting things we're going to show you in a little bit. But let's start with the basics. We got some peppers. Now, if you're uh, not from Maine, you may not know what fiddleheads are. Um, I'm from New England and I know what they are, but I've never had one. And these are fiddleheads. They're like a fern of some sort or early stages of it. Look like the fiddle, top of a fiddlehead. And they eat them a lot here in Maine. I've seen them and heard about them over the years. So we're going to try some. There's many different ways you can cook them, just like any other vegetable. So we're going to cook them just like any other vegetable. Jesse Gray, Blueberry Bandits, is always cooking them and putting up the videos. Yeah, he was cooking them. So he gave me some ideas by watching his videos. And we're going to start off, of course, with some butter. All right, we're ready to throw the onions and peppers right in there. And we'll give them a head start. And I'll show you what we're gonna do uh, once these get going a little bit. Okay, the peppers, we're gonna take, those are done. But we're gonna remove them, put them over here. I'm going to keep them warm. And then we're going to add a little more butter to that. And then we're going to throw those fiddleheads in. Get them going. We're going to put some garlic powder on them. Like so. How's that? We'll cook those up. We'll be back. Okay, let me show you what's going on here. Um, we added about a quarter cup of water to the pan of fiddleheads and covered it. Because um, we wanted to soften them up a little more. I've never cooked them before, but it seemed like that's what they needed. So there they are. And they're looking good. But we're going to now take some of these peppers and onions and we're going to add some into that, like that, a little bit more. And mix those peppers and onions in with the fiddleheads. Okay. And save some other peppers and onions because we have plans for them. All right. Now, they're just about done. We're going to take some hippie honey. And we're just going to put a little drizzle right around like 
that over the whole thing, mix that up. You'll smell the honey right away as soon as it hits the griddle. We're going to turn that heat off now. And we're going to mix these up so they're fully coated. I bet you want to try a fiddlehead now, don't you? <laughs> I do. Okay, we're going to take them off. Like that. All right. We got our pan ready to go. And we pressed out some burgers here. And we're going to put them in there. Those are some big burgers. Do you think all four of them are going to fit? Yeah, we'll get them in there. We'll get them in there. Time for some cheese. This is sharp cheddar. I'm going to put that right on there like that. And we're just going to let that cheese melt and then we'll be back and Tom will put it all together for us. Wow. Oh, we had a fight with paint. We have these nice brioche hamburger buns. Wow. There you go. We're going to do that with some peppers and onions. Voila. And we're going to put some barbecue sauce on that as well. And these great fiddleheads. How do they smell? They smell pretty good. I'm but I'm very hesitant about them because I've never had them. So we're going to start with that. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Well, we're gonna put some chips. Oh, we got a little side of potato chips. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? I'm gonna bring that over to the table and we'll tell you how it is. Here we are. First thing I want to try are these fiddleheads. I'm so hesitant about these things. Here we go. Those are good. Mm. They have a very good flavor. They're not strong. I really taste the peppers and onions in them. Peppers, onions, garlic on them. They're really good. Yeah. Let's try this burger. What is a fiddlehead anyway? Mmm. Burger is good too. A fiddlehead? Like at the beginning of a fern before it opens up, I think. Hmm. If you know what a fiddlehead is, all the viewers from Maine, the specific fern or whatever it is, let us know. Put a comment Very down below. On the burger too. Very good. We should mention our contest for having. Oh, we're having a contest. A giveaway. Giveaway. Um. Rock slice. Oh, the that rock nice slice, slice we showed you. Beautiful. Here's another picture of it. Right there. That. Stay tuned. I'll tell you how you win. We're going to eat. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button and also those who shopped at thehipbee.com. These names you see on the screen are those members, and they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, visit thehipbee.com and make a purchase, or hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. Here we are. 
we are in the corner. And it was a uh, amazing day. A lot happened today. Uh, but first, I want to give a shout out to Cheryl over at the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. She works for Rosie. She helps us out when we go when we go in there looking for gifts. And of course, Rosie, thank you very much for your hospitality. Uh, while we were in there today, we met Chad Waning. I had spoke with him uh, a few weeks ago online, and we happened to bump into him at the Coos Canyon Rock and Gift Shop. And he had some fantastic, he's a gem and mineral, mineral, gem and mineral collector and miner and, and prospector. And he uh, showed us, he had some of his uh, specimens with us, and he, uh, we, we saw them, and he had some fantastic stuff. He gave us a great, beautiful quartz crystal. I can't believe it. Thank you, Chad. Ch thank you, Chad. That was really nice of you. And uh, so a big shout out to him. Uh, the stuff he has, some of that tourmaline he has is just beautiful. Um, so w that brings us to the giveaway. We went in there and we got that geode, that slice of geode that comes with the little stand and it, it's beautiful. And what you have to do is, is there a secret word? Fiddlehead. 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 Wow. <laughs> Put the word fiddleheads. We'll put an S on the end of that, just like you see it. It has to be just like that or it won't get picked up. Use the word fiddleheads in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you're a subscriber. And if you uh, think you're already subscribed, double check because YouTube kicks people off for reasons. So um, that's all you got to do next week. We're going to choose from the comments uh, and have a giveaway. So stay tuned for that. If you can't get enough of us and you want to uh, uh, see more, we have members only videos for members and there's several of them up there. You can become a member by hitting that join button. If you don't have a join button on your phone, uh, send me an email to westperron at AOL.com and I'll send you a link. And you, be, you can become a member that way for as little as $4.99 a month. There's different tiers. They have different perks. Uh, also, don't forget to hit B.com. You can get honey prospecting stuff, our own honey soap, beehive products. It's all there. Uh, so please check that out. I had a lot to say. You didn't even mention the weather. And the weather is pouring all, all day. day. <laughs> But we're high and dry in here, so that's about all I gotta say. Till next week. Peace. Peace.